Today's lesson is going to focus on percents and proportions. In our first example, we are going to look at finding a percentage of a number. So we're being asked, what percent of three is one? So in order to solve this, I'm gonna write down a formula that I'm gonna use every time I want to find a percent of a number. And I set it up like this. It's gonna be A over B. B is going to stand for our base will be equal to P, P standing for percent. Remember, that's what we want to find. And percents are always over 100. So now that we have this formula written down, we can actually start to put in our numbers and find our percent. So for my next step, I'm going to rewrite this. And say what percent of 3 is 1. So I know that my base is 3 because it says what percent of Three. On top of that is going to be my 1. And I want to find out 1 is what percent. So I'm going to keep the P. I can't solve for that yet. And then it's going to be 3. B, 100, stays the same. So now I'm ready to solve this problem. I'm going to solve this by using algebra. And we are going to multiply. Because this was P divided by 100. I want to get P by itself. So what I'm actually do is multiply by 100 here, multiply by 100 over here. So these hundreds cancel out. I'm going to bring down my P. It will be equal to 1 over 3 times 100. I'll turn this into a fraction. 100 times 1 is 100 over 1 times 3 is 3. And that is equal to P, but I'm not finished yet because it really can be simplified. I've got 100 over 3, which is the same as saying 100 divided by 3. So if I set this up, 100 divided by 3, I know 3 times 33 is going to be 99. So 33 goes up here, 99. We do the subtraction. It's 1. 3 won't go into 1, so we'll leave the remainder in the form of a fraction. 1 over 3. You get 33 and a third. So what percent of 3 is 1? We know that our percent now is equal to 33 and 1 third percent. So remember, in order to find a percent, we need to set up this formula. Replace the variables with the numbers that are given. We use multiplication. We're going to times 100 to both sides. I get this fraction that can be simplified using division. My final answer, P, the percent, is equal to 33 and one third percent. For the next step, we're going to look at finding a base. Remember, we just did finding a percent. Now the percent is going to be given to us, and we want to find out what this B or base is. So I'm still going to use this formula, except for this time I'm going to actually have a number to plug in here and plug in here, and we're going to leave B by itself. So my next step will be to start rewriting this. 42 is 30% of what number? So 42, we're being told, is, remember whenever you see an is, we can replace it with an equal sign, is 30% so we're given that. We know that percentage is always over 100. And now we're trying to find the base. So I'm going to leave the B there because that's what I'm trying to solve for. So what I'm going to want to actually do is get the B by itself. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to use some algebra. When I use algebra this time, though, it's going to be a little bit different. What I want to actually do is do some cross multiplication first, and then we're going to do some division. So let's start off with cross multiplying. We'll end up with this equation, b times 30 and 42 times 100. So for my next step, my fractions are going to be set up this way. I'm going to have 42 times 100, keep my equals, and remember it's going to be b times 30. Cross multiply this way, I also want to cross multiply that way. The letter b for base times 30. Now what I want to do in regards to the division is get the B by itself. So in order to get the B by itself, 
I need to divide by 30. That'll go away. And now I also want to divide by 30 here. Let's take it one step at a time. Remember, I need to do the top first. 42 times 100, I'll just bring it down this way, will equal 4,200. What I want to do then is divide that by 30. And that's going to give me B. So let's come over here and do our long division. 4,200. We are going to divide that by 30. If I work this problem out, I end up with an answer of 100, and let me fix that, 140. So for my final step, I know that the base is 140.